Just a short drive north of Anniston in Calhoun County is the city of Jacksonville, which is the home of Jacksonville State University, Price's alma mater. Jacksonville is home to over 14,000 people, but it adds over 9,500 JSU students to that number when classes are in session. It's a true college town, with JSU being the cornerstone of the community. The historic downtown is built around a central square, which regularly hosts community events. There are plenty of shops and restaurants located here. It's a great place to come explore and get something to eat or just grab a cup of joe at the Redbird Coffee House. Jess enjoyed shopping in Red Threads where she found a new Jacksonville sweatshirt that she just had to have. We got ourselves some lunch at Heirloom Taco, which is one of the newest and coolest places on the square. It's actually located in the old Jacksonville Fire Station. For dessert, you can get cupcakes and sweets at Mad Hatter's Cupcakes or ice cream at Scoop Du Jour just next door. We chose ice cream this time around and it was so good. Jacksonville State University was founded in 1883 as the Jacksonville Normal School before later becoming Jacksonville State Teachers College. These days, JSU has six colleges covering over 95 different academic programs. One of the newest and best facilities on campus is the Recreation and Fitness Center. This shiny new state-of-the-art facility features indoor and outdoor swimming pools, three different basketball and volleyball courts, a fitness center, and much more. It even has a rock climbing wall. At the center of campus is Angle Hall, formerly known as Bibb Graves Hall to us old timers. It's the main administrative building for the university. The first building you'll notice on campus is the 12-story Houston Cole Library, one of the tallest academic buildings in the state of Alabama and home to over 800,000 books. I gotta be honest, I didn't spend nearly as much time in the library as I probably should have, and it's a shame because it's actually really nice. On the southern edge of campus, you'll find JSU Stadium, home to the Gamecock football team and the Marching Southerners, the best marching band in the country in my completely unbiased opinion. The Southerners were the recipients of the 2022 Sudbur Trophy, which is like the Heisman Trophy for marching band. It's hard to argue with that. JSU is one of only two colleges with the Gamecocks as their mascot, the other being the University of South Carolina. JSU Stadium has a capacity of 24,000, though that may soon change as the stadium is currently in the beginning stages of a massive renovation as part of the transition into Conference USA of the Football Bowl subdivision. On March 19, 2018, Jacksonville and the JSU campus were hit by an EF3 tornado, which left a path of destruction right through campus and the northern part of the city. Fortunately, there were no fatalities. I was one of over 1,000 people who volunteered after the tornado to help the recovery efforts. During the cleanup, I spotted this American flag stuck up in a tree. I managed to climb up and retrieve it, but the homeowner there had no idea where it had come from. It wouldn't be a college town without some great food, and Jacksonville has plenty of excellent options. One of the traditional game day favorites is located on the corner of Mountain Street and Forney Avenue. Struts is a JSU landmark, especially popular on game days because of its location beside JSU Stadium. The wings here are the best in town, in my opinion. Another local landmark is located not far from the JSU Baseball Stadium, which has recently been renovated itself and is now one of the top baseball facilities in the state. Cooter Brown's Rib Shack is legendary. With its literal shack-like appearance and hole-in-the-wall feel to it, it is one of the most fun places to eat in town. The walls are adorned with all sorts of first responder patches and other quirky and snarky signs and stickers. The main reason to dine here though is the absolutely amazing ribs. The dry rub that they use here is so good you'll never want sauce on your ribs again. Take it from two people who have never liked ribs, Cooter Brown's ribs are to die for. 
One of the great features in Calhoun County is the Chief Ladaga Trail, which begins down in Anniston and runs for 34 miles to the Georgia State Line where it joins the Silver Comet Trail. The Ladaga Trail is entirely paved and perfect for biking, walking, running, or skating. When I was a student at JSU, I would walk on the trail almost every day all the way down to nearby Germania Springs Park, located just north of town. This is a nice little park with a creek running through it. One of the greatest features of Jacksonville is found when you follow the mountain street all the way up to Chimney Peak, a 1,700 foot tall mountain overlooking Jacksonville. The views from up here are spectacular, and it's a must visit location for anyone visiting Jacksonville for the first time. From longtime residents to the thousands of JSU students and alumni, Jacksonville is a truly special place to so many people. Should you ever find yourself in the foothills of the Appalachians, make sure you come by for a visit. After all, Jacksonville is home to the friendliest campus in the South.